I'm going to teach you what I've learned from honeybeesweet.com. The author Rusty taught me how to move a hive any distance that you want. Now the problem I had is when I split this hive, um, I only moved it about four feet. And so what happened, most of the bees went back to the original location. Probably 90% went back here. So I had lots and lots of bees here and very few here. The general thinking is you can only move a hive either three feet or at least three miles. Well, I want to move mine about four or five feet. And I learned how to do that by going to honeybeesuite.com. Now that's honeybee and then S-U-I-T-E dot com. Rusty has an article called How to Move a Hive. And typically you hear all the time that you can't move a, a hive a short distance because the bees that are out working in the field will come back and go to the original location and if the hive isn't there they'll become lost. Now in my situation I wanted them not to come back here but bees that I moved over here I wanted them to come back over here. Now what had happened is that I moved them at night and when they came out the next morning they flew out and they kind of circled around and then they all kind of went over back over there. And so I had to find a solution where I could balance out the hive so they had the right number of bees in each hive. The usual advice is that you must uh, move the hive at least two or three miles away to, and give the bees a few days to reorient themselves and then if you wanted to you could move them back. But I didn't really want to do that because that's a lot of work. However I found out that it's much easier than that. You can move a hive anywhere, a few inches even, or just a few feet. You can do it a few yards but you don't have to do the three feet or three mile rule if you simply force the bees to reorient. Here are the steps that Rusty gives. Either in the morning or in the evening, you box up the hive and you block up the entrances, making sure that there aren't any ways out once you have all the bees in the hive that you want. Once you have the hive blocked up and all the bees that you want in the hive, you move the hive to whatever location you want it to be. It could be inches, it could be feet, it could be yards, or it could be a mile or so. It doesn't make any difference. Then the key to this is that you leave the hive closed for at least 24 hours. Now after 24 hours if you take a branch and put it in front of the door uh, the bees will be uh, forced to reorient themselves and they'll come back to the new location. He found that if you leave the bees in the hive for three days you probably don't even need the branch or obstruction in front of the hive because the bees will orient themselves automatically since they've been in the hive so long. He also said that you need to make sure you don't have more than one entrance. So I made sure that the top entrance here was closed and of course I closed the front entrance here too. So my bees have been in here for three days. Uh, before I closed them up I gave them plenty of sugar water. I'm going to go ahead and open them up this morning and see if this works. What I've done here is I've brought over some leaves and I'm going to take these leaves and I'm going to put them in front of the door and that will uh, cause them to reorient. So I actually have a little space in here and, the, and the, the branch itself is small enough that it'll just stick right inside of here. So I brought out some sugar water for them. I'm going to go ahead and open it up and give them a chance to reorient. It's a kind of early morning. Uh, you can see over here the bees haven't started coming out yet. The sun hasn't hit the hive. So I don't expect a burst of bees to come out, but uh, they certainly could start coming out. So let's go ahead and get this done. What I expect will happen is that the bees will kind of wander out and kind of fly around in kind of a circle kind of getting themselves oriented then they'll take off. But after they do that they should come back. Alright the bees have been in there for three days now. I just opened up the door and they are coming out and you can see they're staying on the hive right now and they're going to take time here to get reoriented. My first impressions of this are very positive because the bees are not taking off and flying right now. It looks like they are just reorienting themselves before they do leave. Again, since they've been in there for three days, I may not have even needed this branch at all. The reason why I kept them in the hive for three days, and I am using the branch, just be to make sure that everything works out well. Originally when I moved this hive, this was the original hive, when I moved it from this location over here and the bees came out the next morning, they would circle around and then fly over to this hive. 
I'm seeing them circle this morning, but I haven't seen any circle and go over to this hive. So initial impressions are very positive. So it looks like it's working just as Ray said it would. I don't know if you can see on the video, but hopefully I'll capture where you can see the bees coming out and circling, and then they just fly off. They seem to kind of make this kind of one loop, and then they take off. Okay, it's about 9.15, and the bees are up and active. That's about the time the sun hits the hive and warms it up, and gets them out. So you can see they're doing exactly what they should be doing, and that is they're reorienting themselves. You can notice that there's a lot more activity in this hive as far as the bees circling, getting their orientation, than there is over here. I believe there's actually more bees in that hive, but they know where they're going. They don't have to spend the time to reorient. They just take off and go to work. These girls over here are getting reoriented to the new hive. Everything looks great. It's quite amazing to see this phenomenon work and to see that conventional wisdom isn't always true. You can move hives any distance that you want if you just follow the right procedure. I'll come back this evening and we'll take a look at the hive and see how it looks then. It's about quarter after ten, not very long since I was just here. Just came out to watch the girls again and I noticed the, the stick had fallen out from front of the hive. But what I also noticed is that the bees are not flying over to the original location. They're still doing their orientation and then flying away. So even without the stick, having them sequestered in the hive for three days really has caused them to reorient themselves. It's interesting to see that this really does work. Well it's six o'clock. That means it's uh, dinner time. That's when all the girls come home. And what I want you to notice is that when they're flying in, they're coming straight in. In other words, they're not having to reorient. They've already done that, and they're all coming right back to what they consider home now. So I would say this is a 100% complete success. So if you want to move your hive four feet, 50 feet, 100 feet, a mile, doesn't make any difference. You can move your hive any distance that you want. Just follow the instructions. I removed the branch from the entrance and the bees just are coming straight in and out. So I don't think they need that at all. And I think that was because they were in there for three days. So I hope this is helpful. It looks like we busted the myth of less than three feet or more than three miles. Beekeeping just got easier. This is the LDS Prepper wishing you the best and Reminding you, if you are prepared, you shall not fear. Look at all those girls coming straight in. I love it. Isn't it great when things work out? Thanks for watching.